In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a syntax highlighting for a custom Arduino library that you have created. So for the purpose of this course, I have first created a library okay, to power on and power off an LED, so very simple library. And so here in my Arduino folder, I have libraries folder, so I have put the library here. So I'm not going to show you exactly how to create a library, okay? This is just, this tutorial is just to show you how to add syntax highlighting. So I'm going to open actually the led.h, which is my library. And you can see this is very simple. So this is a class and I use, so basically I have an LED class, okay? I have a defined default state. And then I have some uh, methods, so the init method, on and off. So basically that's it. Now you can see that in my uh, Arduino IDE here in a new program, I use, I import that library, okay? So if I run, if I verify the code, you can see it's working. So I correctly imported the library. Make sure you first manage to import the library, okay? Otherwise everything we are going to do will not work. But then you can see that I don't have any syntax highlighting for LED. Uh, default state here, which is the define, and then the on, off, and init, okay, still black. And as an example, I have just put some code with a serial, okay, you can see the serial library, we have serial in orange and bold, and then this method begin is in orange, and the same for print ln, okay, you have, so if you do, for example, digital write, you can see that you get syntax highlighting for functions like that. If you write like high, you can see that high, low become blue, okay? So we have automatic syntax highlighting, but not for our custom library. And to fix that, what you need to do is, so inside that folder of the LED library, at the root of the folder, you are going to create a new file, new file, text document, which is going to be keywords.txt, exactly like that. You're going to open that file, and now in the keywords.txt, you are going to add the different keywords and how you want them to appear. Okay, and here I'm going to show you three categories so we can uh, add some syntax highlighting for everything in the LED class. First, I'm going to put this. This is a comment, okay? And the first keyword we're going to use is for data type and class names. So if you have any data type or class names, you are going to use a specific keyword and we have actually LED class. So you type, here you can see, I have class LED, okay? So you type the name, the exact name, LED, and then you press tab, okay? You don't press uh, space or whatever, you just press tab once, okay? Very important, if you just put a space with the space bar, that's not going to work you need to press tab once. So LED, and then you are going to write uppercase keyword one, exactly like that. Okay, if you have multiple classes or multiple data types that you create, you just put each one of them in a new line, okay? And now I'm going to add another keyword for functions and methods. So here in my uh, LED class, I have init, on, and off, okay, that I use here in my program. So I'm going to put init, and then tab, keyword, two this time, okay. Keyword one is going to make it appear like this in bold. Keyword two is going to make it appear in orange, just not uh, in bold. So init, I have on, so no space, just a tab. Keyword two, and then off, tab, keyword two, great. And then what we can also do is, you can see here we have default state that is here uh, defined in the LED library. So for uh, defines, you can use so default state, okay, you put the exact name, and then tab, you can use literal one. Okay, not keyword, but literal one. All right, and the file is now complete. Okay, because here we have one class, we have 
three methods and one literal. I'm going to save and I'm going to exit. So the keywords.txt is at the root of your library. Okay, when you do include led.h, it should be in the led folder. And then you have your code. So the thing is that uh, I have saved the file, but you still don't see the syntax highlighting. You need to, so I'm going to save, and you need to restart the Arduino IDE. Great, and now you can see that's completely different. I have LED in bold and orange here, and then I have the init, the on and the off methods in orange. And I also have default state in blue. Okay, you can see whenever I write default state turns blue. Okay, LED.init turns orange. And well, that's it. That's how you add syntax highlighting. So make sure you follow exactly all the steps, okay? That you write the exact same words and keywords and that you use tabs instead of spaces inside the keywords file. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.